I've got the geometric uh, TN formula here, the term formula for geometric series and sequences. And you can see here the TN is AR N minus 1. So the R has a power of N minus 1. And you should know that, guys, TN is the nth term. A is our first term of that sequence. And you can see that R is the common ratio. So just keep those in mind. Make sure you know which pronumeral stands for whatever. And we'll try and use this term formula to do some questions. Now you can have a look at question one. It says the first three terms of a geometric sequence is one, two, and four. And what we're going to do to start off with is find the rule of the sequence. So we're going to find the rule of this geometric sequence. Now guys, you can clearly see that the first term is one, isn't it? The first one in the sequence, that must be the first term. And what we're going to do now is find the common ratio. Now just ask yourself, one times what is two? must be 2. 2 times what is 4? It's again 2, isn't it? And the other way you can figure this out is going backwards. So 4 divided by 2 gives us 2, and 2 divided by 1 also gives us 2, isn't it? So the common ratio is 2. So you do the second one, you might divide it by the first one. Anything, any number divided by the number prior to it, you'll get the common difference. Sorry, common ratio, sorry. Uh, it's going to be 2. So, we've got that, and we've got our formula ready for us. Tn is ar, n minus 1. So let's put our values in. n is just n. Uh, we don't know what n is, so leave n as n, and we're going to put it in. So a is going to be 1, r, I've replaced it with a 2. Now, 1 times anything is just itself, so I'm not going to write the 1, so it just looks a bit more simple, 2 to the power of n minus 1. And that's pretty much it. That's the rule that we call this general, general term, or you call the rule of the geometric sequence. That's all you need to write. So now, I'll just leave that there under the part A, and now let's move on to part B. It says which numbered term would be the first to exceed a thousand? So we want to know which term, what the nth term is that makes this, um, make that term greater than a thousand, the first one that exceeds a thousand. So you see how this is our term formula, the TN? That's what we're going to be using. So 2 to the power of n minus 1, I want that to be just exceeding 1,000. And, and I want to know what value of n makes this happen. Now, we've got pronumerals on the power, so we'll have to use a bit of logs, guys. So what I'm going to do is put the function of log on both sides. Uh, if you do it to both sides, it's perfectly fine to do. Now, see how now this becomes the power? The power we can always drag down to the front like that, can't we? So that's what I've done. I've dragged the n minus 1 down. Make sure you use brackets. If you don't use brackets, it will just look like n times 1. N, sorry, n minus 1 times log 2. So make sure you use those brackets. And what I'm going to do, the log 2, because it's just a constant, I'm going to divide it over to the other side like that. And you can see that I've only got the n minus 1 left. So to make n the subject, I can just add 1 over to the other side. And guys, you can just put that directly into your calculator. You guys can try it yourself. Put the log... Um, using your log button in your calculator and then don't forget to plus one at the end and you'll get a value of 10.96 something. It's going to be um, a decimal that looks like this. Hopefully you get that too. Now what we want is to find n, but n must be a whole number guys. They, we have to have a whole number of numbers, can't we? So we have, make, have to make sure that n is a whole number. So what's the first whole number that's greater than? So we want the one that's greater than, don't we? So what's the first whole number greater than 10.96? Must be 11. So we can say that the 11th term is the first to exceed 1,000.